mini mail bag just yeah two items let's start with the big one here that is from <coughs> of course china you can see that probably because of that nice grayish plastic bag and there's obviously no way in and i'm cutting away from me just as an info and it's yeah <laughs> i joined the club glc pcb <clears throat> there's a story behind it and i will tell it in a second if i have opened the package uh, again cutting away from me and <laughs> okay um yeah i'm not paid by glb pcb so i won't sing any praise and these are some uh yeah well pcbs obviously and this is also a sealed bag ah oh, come on okay oh desiccant wow um yeah let me zoom down and tell the story so these are breakout boards for the hb100 doppler radar modules which i featured in another mailbag uh, card uh, link and i do have uh, two of them and i wanted to fumble around a little bit uh, with these <laughs> radar modules and since the output signal is somewhere in the millivolt range uh, you need a little amplifier if you really want uh, yeah to do something other than uh, have a look at the oscilloscope which is probably the first step in my fumbling around anyways um I searched uh, for yeah application notes and you get application notes and there is a pretty simple amplifier circuit described in there but then I googled a little bit and I stumbled about Limken FR uh, so France uh, however the guy obviously uh, lives in Switzerland or yeah at least there are pointers that he's actually living in switzerland and not in france and these break uh, yeah he wrote something about how uh <clears throat> shitty uh that <laughs> amplifier circuit is in the application notes and i kind of believed him uh it sounded all very plausible so i said okay let's go for that kind of breakout board but i didn't want to build it myself there was a link to a tindy shop and i went there and lo and behold you can buy these uh, not just the pcbs but yeah the whole shebang uh, yeah with the parts uh, soldered onto them however one board 25 us dollars so I said, yeah, mm, okay, it's a one of uh, 25 is a wee bit much. I mean, uh, the parts here and there is, uh, yeah, a very low, nice audio frequency amplifier here and uh, some precision comparator goes here. Um, so yeah, maybe the parts, uh, if you really, yeah, is a one of uh, 10 bucks let's say that 10 bucks so i said okay before i make the board and get the parts and have the work to do uh because i, I haven't developed that i really needed a working uh, amplifier for the intermediate frequency output of these things i said uh yeah okay buy one then i went to the checkout on tindy and they wanted another aboutish 20, 25 US dollars for shipping. So 
one of these breakout boards finished would have come to 50 bucks or something. So I said, no. And yeah, kudos again to Mr. Limpkin. Uh, the project uh, on its website, and I will put a link uh, down here and also a link to the uh, Tindy uh, part uh, listing, whatever. Uh, again, kudos to him. All the project files are available for download on his website. Yeah, I never come around to do such things. And that includes an already zipped Gerber file collection, which you can simply upload to the likes of and yeah, it's just because they make so much, uh, yeah, <clears throat> promotion on YouTube. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, that was the first site I went to and I uploaded that zip Gerber file collection and they said, yeah, that looks good. Have a look at it. Uh, we give you five boards for uh, two euros something. Yeah, they had, of course, a promotion going. Uh, anybody tell me if there's any time that these guys here don't have a promotion going. And then it was another seven something uh, euros for shipping to Germany. And so I ended up with five of these boards for less than 10 bucks. And then I ordered parts for, uh, yeah, to finish two boards uh, for yeah, about 20 bucks. So let's say, be generous, uh, 30 bucks I spent here on parts and the boards and that makes, uh, yeah, one of these boards, if I do them myself, about 15 bucks. Oh no, yeah, 15 bucks, one board. So instead of uh, one board for 50 bucks, I will now build two boards for 30 bucks. And no, I'm not completely convinced I will go over to SMD technology. I mean, I look at these parts. Oh, the horror. The horror. Yeah, this will be a small project building these things coming up soon. Um, anything else about this? Um, basically not. I mean, I will. Um, yeah, go over the details when we actually fumble around with these Doppler radar sensors and maybe in conjunction with a, a, yeah, a 40 gigahertz signal generator I have um, happened to have laying around currently. <laughs> uh, yeah, card link to the review, uh, first part of the review. Okay, uh, so that was the story and uh, the only, th <laughs> I will not start using uh, GLC PCB on a regular base because what I hate in the process uh, is either you cash up, uh, yeah, you pay a lot of dough for express shipping or you just, yeah, place your order, take the cheapest shipping option and then you wait. One week, two weeks, and I got mine after two weeks, but uh, I'm usually not that patient. Okay, so yeah, that was uh, the HP100 breakout board uh, developed by Mr. Limpkin in France or Switzerland. That was shipped within Germany, but it's also a Chinese product. And yeah, I, I, I have no, no, I, I won't go to the uh, eBay listing because yeah, you can find them. I can tell you that was about, and it's stuck in there. Oh my God, it's stuck. Ah. Oh. At least they have a nice rip to open it or not. 
Oh, I hate that hood. Okay, <clears throat> let me cut away from my body again. Can I get it out now? Please, please. Ah. Okay, let me zoom down. And just because I have it in focus right now, that's a Maxim M31855K breakout board. I already made a lot of videos about these Max 6675K, uh, not the breakout boards, but uh, yeah, uh, the chip, which is basically an, uh, yeah, a thermocouple to SPI chip. So yeah, here's the thermocouple. And uh, yeah, it was extensive. I think there was a basic video and uh, yeah, a details video and uh, yeah, how to <laughs> galvanically isolate a SPI bus. Yeah, uh, many cards and links. But um, one thing about these Max 6675Ks is you get a precision of about a degree out of them while these newfangled things here, and I don't try to repeat the number, part number again, you get a precision of oh, 0.25 degrees centigrade or Kelvin, not Fahrenheit, out. Uh, at least that's what the data sheet said. So, and uh, in addition, uh, just a second, one Fabio Brondo asked in the comment session <laughs> section of the yeah of the Max 6675K videos uh, in one of them about uh, how to write code yeah without library uh, for the Max 31855K, and I gave him some pointers yeah just based on uh, what I read in the data sheet, but of course I wasn't able to verify if what I thought. Uh, would be uh, probably working code for that one here. Um, yeah, I never was able to verify it because I hadn't had one. And these things until recently were quite expensive. You didn't get them below uh, 10 bucks while, uh, yeah, the Max 6675K breakout boards from China uh, with a <laughs> thermocouple you get for less than two bucks. But nowadays you get just the naked breakout boards here for about six euros. So I said, yeah, why not? Just order one and <laughs> <laughs> very five the code I advice you gave is really viable or if you just uh, yeah <clears throat> or if it was just BS and that was a mini mail bag with just yeah two items I mail ordered or uh, yeah you can also call it a <laughs> uh, demonstration or tutorial in how to uh, yeah draw out your video by telling only marginally interesting stories. Anyway, till next time. Bye.